Well, check this out, guys. Look, we got a five car mini Cuffman. And uh, it, what is this? Uh, 550 uh, Dodge, right? And 5500, right? And a custom sleeper. Uh, what's your name? You want to say hi to the channel? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Nico. Nico, my yeah. name is Serge. Serge the car hauler on, nice to meet you, sir. on YouTube and Instagram. You got an Instagram? I don't have. I'm I'm not really. How do you talk to girls? <laughs> no. Are you married? You got children? I'm half married. You, what? I'm half half, half married. Ma half wait, married, married to the truck. That too. <laughs> that too. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Well, um, I mean, I'm, I mean, of course, I'm, I'm familiar with YouTube. I yeah. just don't have a chance. Today's to gonna get started, man. No, it's all I'll, good. I'll, I'll, I'll good. show you a little bit um, later. But um, tell me, um, so you're owner operator or you're a driver? No, I'm owner operator. Owner. And this your rig, your trailer, yeah, everything. right? You got your own authority. Everything, everything, man. man, how long have you been car hauling? Uh, about four years now. Four years. Yeah. And you started, and is this CDL? Yeah, this is CDL. This I started in a 3500 with a three car. Mm -hmm. and then, Same here. And then I went up to a four car. And, Why didn't uh, you get a big rig um, instead of this? So it's, a, it's a, quite a few reasons. So that, That's a big a, topic, you know, everyone mine, always asks me. A buddy of mine got into it around the same time. He did just, you know, a few months before I did. He got and a, he got a big rig? He got a big rig. Okay. For one, he had already had a CDL. That's number mm -hmm. one. Number two, moving along, I'm I'm glad I actually didn't. Um, and the reason being, didn't go big rig and, or CDL and, right away. Well, I wish I would have got my full CDL gallon tank. Gravity. Okay, pad. so 91 gallon tank, and this is close enough where you don't have any issues, huh? Oh no, no. That's cool. Because I, this is I right. It's the higher one. Starting out. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Back, back window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, he even has, you can plug in your drill. Boom. Extension cord. Yeah. Um, so uh, you got some daily drivers. You got a ladder. You got to use a ladder. Oh, yeah. I'm a short guy anyway, so I definitely got to. And these are, what, 19.5 wheels, right? Or? Them, uh, yeah, 19.5. 19.5s. No issues with them. And those are nice wheels in the trailer, too. Now, so, now. What, what are those like? Eight thousand axles? Uh, These are some 10, 10 thousand axles. Now I did. I upgraded the tires. You upgraded the tires. And I highly recommend tires, tires, and tire maintenance on uh, everything. Yeah. I mean, this will get you. This do you have rolling. spare parts for the the axles, the hubs here, the I do the now, bearings? No, I don't have with, extra with, bearings with you because I did. I carry yeah, them. Yeah. Well, on the smaller trailers. But these are 10,000 axles. Yeah. And the tires and these rims, these are like some heavy duty rims. Oh, yeah. And, and, and one thing, these are the Valcrum uh, hub seals, though. So I, I didn't have the experience of the plastic ones breaking off. Them put them on once, took them right. <laughs> Yeah, plastic ones breaking off. Then you gotta use yeah. a Gatorade bottle to get you home with yeah. duct tape, right? I didn't, I didn't have some experience. So, um, how about the trailer? This is a new trailer. It's, it's new. Right? I, I bought this in twenty one. So you probably dirty. I never washed it, but it's just it's yeah, like yeah, no rust. You know, it's about uh, forty thousand miles on it. What's the biggest uh, pain in the butt? Do the do the DOT guys Let still you harass this. you? Because I've I have never had a bad DOT experience ever. Even when I first started out, really? I never go through scales. I got a prepaid in okay. my truck. I'm, I'm, I'm registered at forty three thousand. I, I I I'm never. Uh, I'm probably around forty one thousand. Do you, do you think they? Th do you think it's because of your setup? Because of the sleeper, it it makes it look like you're serious. Well, and you're not that, like that too, but along with you know when they run your tags, they see your drive, who the driver is, everything mm -hmm. about the driver, and not only that, like I said, I'm registered at forty three thousand. I'm never at forty three thousand, so that's another you know the way in, the way you know. Okay, they see your registration and they they're like, okay, he. It's yeah, gonna, and then they weigh me, you know, the way in motion. Yeah. So you know, they because know the other ones that are registered near the thirties. Those are cl always closely loaded up to that. Thirty you know, thousand pounds, right? Like a three-car wedge registered. Oh no! You, I mean, 
you you most likely get fucked with by DOT because yeah. it's like who's driving? It? I don't know if you're a class A. Yeah. Because that that class A in the three car hall, it's man, it's so, so twisted. So how much miles to the gallon do you get? Uh, I'm I'm so is it with this better setup right now? Yeah, with this setup. I'm averaging about uh, damn near ten. Ten miles to the gallon. And when I'm fully loaded, I get a strong wind. Eight. Point five. Okay, so you're still I'm, better I'm getting, than I'm, semis. I'm getting, I'm getting, because I'm mine getting, is getting six point five. Yeah. You know, I'm I can't do this. much better than that. I, I did a twenty-five, exactly hundred mile trip, <laughs> um, last week, and uh, my total fuel was about fourteen eighty. Fourteen eighty. For twenty-five. Yeah, five cars miles. going. Five, did you? Um, why did you choose to do open? Um, do you you know about enclosed, right? You get to touch other guys' Ferraris like me. Why don't you want uh, to do that? I don't know. It's I mean because it, that that's a little. I mean, it's like steps. So that steps. would be a, okay. The next step. You, you, you know, think I you will go to that visit. sometime in the future? Uh, it depends on what the, you know. The, the, we do. We do what we okay. do because money. So okay. How about the numbers? What kind of this? Is my wife here. Um, what kind of numbers could you gross in a year with this setup? Gross, it, like with all the loads. It's, it's hard. It depends on. It's okay, like how you, or how you, or, or uh, a month. Uh, let's say you stay out full month, and the maximum your logbook can it, handle. So I can't really give it, but I'm gonna tell you like this. Or per day, per week. How do you think? Um, how long does it I take you to do a trip? A, a e, it's, I average an easy 4,000 profit a Four, week. 4,000 profit, okay. So but that, it's not a strong week to where I'm working six full days. You know, I, I, okay. may, may, I may work for, say like I may pick up today, deliver cool. two days from now, pick up another day and I'm back. Well, that's more than me. Yeah. That's more than me, 4,000 a week take home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and that was another yeah, yeah, yeah. reason going into why a buddy of mine, like my overhead. And you guys always talked about that. See, that could, that's as good or even better than your buddy, possibly, yeah. right? So, and, and the thing is, I'm gonna kind of be brief. So, his overhead is a, uh, a little bit over five thousand a month. Mm -hmm. Mine is twenty four hundred, and that's. Probably, I'm probably adding a little bit something more to it. And, and, and we're talking about insurance and truck payment. Talking about insurance, truck payment, where I park, um, my uh, my low board, um, my ELD. You, you have a dispatcher, everything. or I you do everything you, on my own, everything you, on my own, everything, my everything huh. on my own. So that's the difference. So you get to, you're about twenty five hundred less overhead than a big rig, and your buddy really maybe pridefully trying to get you in the big rig, right? Well, he's not. He's not. he's seeing that he wish he had a flatbed, uh, for example, or a car hauler. Because, for example, he may, he, he he goes to Texas a lot, but he may have to go to, he's based out of Upper Marlboro, Maryland. So he may have to go to uh, Philly to get a load, mm -hmm. uh, another Lancaster PA, mm -hmm. just to come back just to go to Texas when I'm never, you know, I can just. Uh, what area do you do? Uh, well, I'm just strictly East Coast. East Coast. Yeah, I mean, I go to more Texas, but I don't go past Texas. Okay. Now with this setup, it's uh, fairly maneuverable. You got a shorter wheelbase than the big rigs, right? You could do the turns much better, right? Yeah. So I, I've, you. I've driven one before. You've driven them before, yeah, yeah. and it feels much longer in a big rig, right? Uh, actually, no. They feel even no. when the first time I got Never. in one, I'm like, this doesn't look as big as me it when does. I'm standing outside of it driving it. It doesn't. Yeah. Look. Okay, so it's about the same, uh, but a lower overhead. That's good. Twenty five hundred. You could always find twenty five hundred to pay. But that's all depending on the driver, of course, insurance yes. and where your insurance is. And so again, you started with a three car wedge and a Dodge Ram. And then this made more sense, more dollars. I mean, you know, the goal in life for me is to climb up the ladder, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so that's, that's where I'm at in, in terms of climbing up the ladder, this point right here. So I don't know what's next.